All right, so I just want to talk about an issue that I actually lost the client over as a managed service provider. And uh, other clients of mine had similar issues with Apple devices. Um, and I have an interesting theory on why this is, but um, first let me just show you what I mean. Um, in fact, I can't actually um, show you the extent of what I was having, but imagine having uh, DNS failure here with uh, about 20 Apple uh, uh, computers, right? Uh, particularly MacBooks, iPhones, right? There was just an issue that, um, you know, people were complaining that they're constantly getting kicked off as, as uh, with their Apple devices. Um, so I'm just going to jump into, I'll, I'll give you the solution that I found, but first I just want to get it into why I think this is. This guy is Robert P Piera, I believe I, did I say his name right? Um, and yeah, so Robert Pera, right? And he, he is, he used to work at Apple and, um, got into a dispute with his boss about, uh, what would be a good idea. And, uh, long story short, Apple ignored his idea. Uh, and then he went and he made ubiquity, right? Um, so it was kind of some bad, bad, uh, uh, blood, right? Uh, bad taste in Apple's mouth because they lost him. He went on to make this company and, um, you know, keep in mind, this is the same type of stuff he was doing for Apple. He worked for the airport, uh, Wi-Fi department, right? And he left, right? And... Which is which is great, and then he was so successful he bought the Memphis Grizzlies. Okay, so um, if I was Apple, I I might be a little bit uh, annoyed at this, right? So my theory is that they sabotaged him because right they probably found something like this, right? And even went as far as to quote the uh, Internet Assigned Numbers Authorities, um, uh, you know, what you should do with things. And then made it so that Apple devices have a problem on uh, Unify with something that is misconfigured by default with Unify stuff. Right? Let me show you what I mean. Right? So... If you come over, so we start at the dashboard, we come here, right, and then we go to connectivity and we see that there are all kinds of problems here, right? Now, if you go back over to this little uh, public service announcement, um, Apple put, right, it's almost snarky, right? It's a little bit snarky, right? Like, it doesn't say unify anywhere here, but, you know... <clears throat> I'm starting to connect the dots. So, the default settings, right? We go to settings. Now let's go to our default network, right? And then we go to show options. And right here, you see this? Right? Apple specifically says, don't do this. Right? Local. And then, then when you go and you look at things you're not supposed to use, right? Um, and another thing, right, is that uh, uh, even lo like local domain, right? Um, it. Long story short. Since you don't have a registered domain, that being there causes problems with Apple's MDNS. You end up with the DNS failures. So, turn it off. It's a default setting. Turn it off. My problems went away. All right. Take care.